Hey, it's Carla. So basically, I've fallen in love with reading again, and I have so many favourite books that I wanted to talk about, and then I realised how long it'd actually take me to talk about the books. So I'm going to try and be as brief as possible, but it's so annoying because I really want to talk about my favourite books. So, a series of unfortunate events. These were my first favourite book series thing, thing, thing. And it's basically about three orphans, and that's all I'm going to tell you about. It's amazing, and I loved it. And have you read it too? Is that too fast? Is that too fast of a thing? Am I going too fast? Next up, Jacqueline Wilson. I love all of her books. I love all of them, but this one was really good because it has a sad ending. It's called My Sister Jodie. That's what it looks like sad ending. That's all I'm going to tell you guys. Chew on that. My second favourite Jacqueline Wilson book is Kiss and that helped me transition into the world of like teen books, like teen, like older books, because she just addressed issues in that book. So I was a little bit older for like children's books and I loved it. I loved it and it helped me figure out what books I was going to be like interested in as an older like teen girl. That's when we move on to the Georgia Nicholson series which is basically a coming of age story about this girl and I think the book goes from when she's 13 up until she's 16. There are actually eight books in the whole series but I just have three right here. I love these. These have been described as like a younger Bridget Jones and ugh, I can't explain how I just love these books and it actually got adapted into a movie like here you go and Aaron Johnson is in it hello anyway I absolutely love these books like the names of them are crazy Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging Knocked Out by Meninga Ningas it's okay I'm wearing really big knickers so yeah um these are really my favorites if you're looking for a good book series that's just gonna like re be really relatable then I really do recommend these. I should really warn you guys from here on out I started to discover that I was really into like romancy like romantic comedies like not just in books but in movies as well like that's what I'm into and I can't help it it's not that I won't read any other genre of books it's just like this is my favorite genre of book I don't know if anybody remembers that time when everybody was sort of obsessed with supernatural books because of the whole Twilight thing and that's when I discovered this series I absolutely loved it. There's actually three books, but I don't know where the third one is because as you guys know, a couple of months ago I moved house and for some reason I still haven't unpacked. I actually don't have a bookshelf, so that's not my fault. I need to get a bookshelf and then I'll be able to put my books up. Anyway, this book is basically about a girl who comes across wolves who are also humans. Just food for thought. It was so sweet, it was such a lovely novel and ugh. oh, this one's called Shiver, the second one is called Linger and this one's called Forever and this one's the last one. I can't quite remember what happens at the end. But anyway, they're by Maggie and that's her last name because I cannot pronounce name. And then a little bit after that, I got into um, this author and her name is Sarah and that's her last name. I can't pronounce last names. Um, Desen, Desen, I'm trying. I'm really bad at it. I absolutely love her books. They're just so lovely and they're so relatable. It's not like um, they're all about teenagers and usually they have like pretty tough like life circumstances, like something's wrong. This one's called Lock and Key and basically her mum is just a mess and like disappears for ages so then she ends up going to live with her older sister who moved out years ago and like set up her own life and she's super rich now. So yeah, that's pretty hard hitting and then she finds a boy called Nate and then they have sexy times. I'm so bad at describing stories, it's really bad, I'm so sorry. And then there's my favourite one from Sarah which is Truth About Forever. Like someone was gonna ask me like what's your favourite book and I couldn't decide. I'd probably say this one. But anyway she finds a very nice muscular boy and it's all very exciting. Oh and then there's The Hunger Games. Um, The thing about The Hunger Games is that I usually I'm not really into books that have a lot of hype around them, like I try and avoid them. But my sister read the Hunger Games series and then I was like... And then she eventually convinced me to actually read them and I love these books because the thing is a lot of people might not think these books are very good because they do so well and they're so popular but honestly these are one of the best book series I've ever read and I absolutely love it. I can like sort of relate to Katniss and I just love the whole story because I don't know whenever I read them I get so much strength and power and I feel so brave because it's like before you really think about it you're like would you like 
sacrifice your life, not sacrifice your life, but put your life in danger to fight for a cause. And I was like, before I read this book, I probably wouldn't have, but after reading this book, I don't know, I feel like if ever, if it was ever needed, I would fight. So I've moved on to like older ladies rom-coms and I absolutely love it because it's sort of like sex in the city, that sort of vibe, that's what I go for, that's what I like and um, this book in particular has a lovely message and it's called, the book is actually called Do You Want to Know a Secret and basically it's about uh, the law of attraction. Basically, they're like three friends and it's about one main person, but there are three friends and then they discover the, like, the whole law of attraction sort of book. If you don't know what the law of attraction is, it's basically like if you put, up, put out positive vibes, you'll get positive vibes back. That's basically what it's about and I loved this book. I loved it. I loved this book. Like, it's one of my favourites. It's definitely definitely up there. So yeah, these are all of my favourite books and I had to go through them really fast because I realised that this video would be so long if I talked about all of them in depth and I didn't want to like bore you guys. But if you guys want me to do like book reviews or like book talk times, I would love to. It's really weird though, my taste in books is like so different from the people around me. Like my sister likes to read more like serious like um like Stephen King sort of books whereas um I'm into like rom-coms and like fluffy girly books and stuff like that and my best friend she's into like um more like drama books like that would make you cry. I am not about to cry reading a book because I just love to have things that I can escape from real life from with <laughs> can't even formulate proper sentences but basically I love to read books that help me escape from like the real world and basically rom-coms are just the stuff that does it I can't explain it I just love rom-coms and stuff like that oh my god how did I forget another one of my favorite books is The Force in Our Stars by John Green John Green is definitely one of my favorite authors oh my god where's my book I've realised that I'm probably missing like a whole box of my books because I don't know where my John Green books are at all. But anyway, I really loved Looking for Alaska as well, but I love those books. Those were like intense, like those are like so amazing. And another thing is that John Green is one of the only authors I know personally that can write for all genders and ages basically. All of these books that I'm reading are probably mostly only targeted towards girls. Like, I can't really imagine a boy getting into the George Nicholson series. I mean, they could, but because it's written from a girl's point of view and girl's experiences, I don't know if they'd really been into this. So I just feel like um, John Green does really well to be able to capture a story that all genders and all people can sort of read. Anywho guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment below telling me what your favourite books are and what your favourite genres are. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Bye!